Welcome to the Everton News Daily. Chelsea are reportedly eyeing up a move for Everton forward Dominic Calvert-Lewin this summer as they look to improve their attacking options. Uh, Everton have offered Calvert-Lewin a new deal, but at yet, as yet, he is yet to sign it. Obviously, he's got a year left on his contract, therefore he becomes an attractive proposition for a few of these clubs. He's 27, so for him, it's obviously a very, very important decision, and he may well want to know what the future uh, is in store for Everton. You know, we're obviously a lot of things up in the air, particularly the ownership. Um, we'll have to see what happens. Newcastle also monitoring Calvert-Lewin's uh, position, but who knows, may, he may well, yeah, sign a new deal and remain at Goodison Park. Barcelona targets Everton midfielder Amadou Onana is reportedly out of Barcelona's budget range. Uh, that is according to the Spanish press today. He say that the move looks unlikely now, even though their sporting director, Deco, is a big fan of Onana. They're saying, quite simply, the price range is, is too high for them. Arsenal have also reportedly had contact with Onana. That is according to Fabrizio Romano, but as yet are to make a concrete offer. He looks set to definitely leave, I think, Onana this summer. I think Everton have kind of... Uh, made the peace with that and hoping to get the biggest fee possible to um, to reinvest it, really, uh, into the squad. It looks like the only way there's going to be money available to Sean Dyke and Kevin Thelwell by selling a couple of players and hoping that they can reinvest in uh, other players as well. And hopefully there'll be younger players who we can develop and then get sell-on fees for them in the future. Uh, Everton have released their kickoff time and dates for their pre-season friendlies today. They start their pre-season programme away at Gary Neville Salford. Um, that is at the Peninsula Stadium. It's on Saturday, the 27th of July. It's a 3 p.m. kickoff. They then play Coventry City at the Coventry Building Society Arena on Tuesday, the 30th of July. That is a quarter to eight kickoff. And finally, they play a game at Preston North End at Deepdale on Saturday, the 3rd of August. That is a 3 p.m. kickoff. Everton are expected to reveal another three um, pre season friendlies as well later, um, later this month. Right now, they're the three confirmed ones that they have. Everton defender Jarrod Branthwaite is expected to be left out of England's final European Championship squad for the Euros that begin in Germany a week tomorrow. That is according to Matt Law today. Um, it looked as though Branthwaite was going to be part of the 26-man squad, particularly when news broke that um, Harry Maguire was uh, to be left out. It looked almost certain that Branthwaite would be kept in as a left-sided centre-back, but apparently that is not going to be the case. Lewis Dunk and Mark Gay have uh, apparently made it, which is a head-scratcher, particularly Gay, who has uh, been injured for a lot of the season at Crystal Palace. Um, but hey-ho, that's the way it is. If, uh, if it is, um, Branthwaite can go and have a good rest ahead of pre-season at Everton. Uh, provided he remains at Goodison, of course. Uh, and finally, Andre Gomez looks to be eyeing up a move to Major League Soccer. He is apparently talking to multiple clubs uh, about moving there. He finishes his Everton career on the 30th of June. That is when his contract with Everton expires. He doesn't want to return to Portugal just yet and will move to Major League Soccer um, once uh, that contract is up and in time for the uh, the 1st of July when he becomes a free agent. So good luck to Andre uh, as he looks to take the next step in his career. So, uh, yeah, good luck to him. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and uh, we'll see you later.